<laughs> Smash cuts on and not a Reese. <laughs> I mean, with Aries, you could wrap him around your little finger. <laughs> Dude, how big is Aries, bro? You've measured him. Podcast <laughs> <laughs> and chill. Matt G, the ghost lady, and Len Moleko. In the body made it, ladies and gentlemen, we Stop are it. back like we never left. Yeah, man. Podcast and chill. Uh, sadly, the ghost lady's not joining us today because uh, she's got the flu. Yo, why do you have to say it that way, bro? Like, sadly, the ghost, the ghost lady is not able to join us today. Because uh, I don't think we've ever done a show without her. This is the first time. Really? Yeah. Oh. I can't remember doing a show without the I know ghost we've lady. done shows without a ghost lady. But yeah. I don't know if the ghost lady now, we've ever done a show without her. No, we've never. But it's fine. We've got Tabang. He loves the mic, so <laughs> we sorted in that department. Yeah, today he's, <laughs> he's full on. He doesn't have to... There's no buzz held. He doesn't have to share a mic with anybody. Yeah. yeah. I think... Let me turn your mic up because I don't think I can hear you properly. Just uh, speak there. Tell me what you had for oh, breakfast. And, and apparently, I, 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 I speak low. Yeah. Tell me what you had for breakfast then. I had the original Rice Krispies. Oh, yeah. Quite, and the ghost lady wanted those bags, remember? Mm. I found them. Yeah, yeah. Mm. How much are they going for? They 70 bucks. 70? Yes. Jeez. I bought three boxes. Damn. Just what in did, case they run out. Why did they run out, Vel? So, apparently, they're not made in South Africa anymore. Yeah. So, they have to be imported. Mm. So, I think with... Uh, the demand that people were like, "Yo, the Rice Krispies, these vanilla ones taste crappy. Like, yeah. where are the original ones?" Yeah. Then the company that makes them decided, like, uh, let's find a way to bring them back into the country. And I think that's why they cost so much. Yeah. Anyway, in case you're wondering where we're coming from, we're coming at you from Platinum Lounge. I think we should do like a lounge uh, tour because we seem to be... Uh, Lounging yeah. around. <laughs> we're actually kind of doing a tour, come to think of it. Nah. Yeah. Recharge Lounge, Platinum Lounge. Uh, kind of what's the other one? The, the beach. beach. Yeah, yes. yeah. I almost said kind of what's the other one uh, where we were at where there's a beach Yeah. type of vibes. Yeah. Yeah, so... So since Coast Lady's not here, can we, can we smoke... Uh, Can uh, you say the B word? No, 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 no. (laughs) No. See, when you behave, you must behave even in private. You don't have to behave only when certain people are around. Yeah. Kind of thing. So, behavior must just be behavior in in totality. Yeah. Anyway, uh, Tabang, did you go to Corinth first, dog? No, I didn't. Ah, Tabang, what kind of a screw screw are you, bro? (laughs) (laughs) This guy. What's Cotton first? (laughs) So, clearly, you didn't watch the Ricky Rick interview. No. You didn't? No. (laughs) Why not? I didn't have time. Yeah. Actually. uh, Because it dropped on Thursday, yeah? Yes. So on Thursday, where was I? I can't remember. Uh, Oh, I had work meetings on Thursday. Came home late. I was tired. Slept. Friday. What did I do on Friday? I can't remember. But I got home late and I was tired and I slept. Saturday, I drove to the Northwest to eat to sing to a wedding my cousin actually got married which cousin is this you got so many bro so the one that uh, remember with the one time we came to your house mm-hmm. and then you went into the swimming pool and without your consent yes yes <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's an inside joke by the way <laughs> so that one oh Kenny Kenny yes hey, people are getting married this year bro I know damn how was it it was it was cool he seems happy yeah and yeah, congratulations to him. Jeez, it came out of nowhere. Why did he decide to get married? I, I don't know. Uh, mm. Tabang, are you getting married this year? No, Chief. No, not anytime. Chief. First of all, we need to get you a girl. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm still loaded, yeah? Yeah. Kinkar people who are on the other side always have a problem of singularity. <laughs> it was Monday, and then he passed the baton to Tabang. Hey. Now it's Tabang. No, but honestly speaking, you didn't miss much from the Ricky Rick interview. Oh, gosh. Oh, what a ball fest. Mm, 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 mm. Different strokes for different folks. Yeah. Perhaps that's the kind of person he is when it comes to interviews. And you probably expected fireworks. Yes. And then you didn't get fireworks. You know what's so crazy? So I don't think it's a ball fest per se. I think you had high expectations. Yeah. And 
you spoke to somebody who did not meet the expectations that you wanted. No, you know what happened, right? What was weird, because uh, I was shooting with Tabang. So we went to his house, right? Mm. And when we got to his house, when the cameras were off, dude, he was like a cool nigga, bro. He was chill, like a nigga I could chill with, you know? It wasn't even like an industry type of thing. Um, and then when the cameras went on, hey, <laughs> I was like, who's this? <laughs> He switched up, dog. But also, a lot of people play for the camera. Yeah. Because, I mean, there's a lot of publicity slash PR slash I must be careful what I say slash... There's, there's those people that you will interview that will be themselves. Be it off camera, on yeah. camera. That's yeah. them. Because when I, when, when I left that interview, the first thing I said to Taban was like, ah, dude, that was Loiso Gola 2.0. But then I think about it, ne? Loiso Gola off air and on air... It's the same, same person. Yeah, he was literally the same guy. And then Ricky Rick, for me, on camera, was just like, hey, and then why are you giving us PR answers, dog? I'm like, ah, dude. Maybe it's a training that he, oh, that's what his management says. It's, it's uh, some people will not give you what you want, mm. uh, purely based on, I, I want to put it in inverted commas, protecting their brand. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and he's popping right now. So he's got a lot on the line, you know? You know? So, yeah, maybe he was just protecting his interests, for lack of a better word. Well, what did you think, Tabang? Because Tabang is like a huge fan of Ricky. And when we were on the way, when we were going to go shoot, he was excited. He's like, ah, boy, finally, did someone I know. Uh, no, we didn't take a picture. Oh, okay. He was like, finally, someone I know on the podcast. <laughs> I love Penny. Oh, Penny was amazing. But, you know, this interview reminded me of what Penny said during her interview. She's like, when you interview someone, eh, sometimes the guest gives you... 60%, you know, mm. or like 80%, and that's what makes the... Or 20%, in the case of last week. In the case of Ricky, <laughs> I don't even think it was 20 maybe 5%. You get what I'm saying? Not even a pass mark with OBE. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And, 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 and that's how I felt like, because like, while I was interviewing him, I'm like, oh man, I can tell this guy's not here. Maybe your disappointment came in you, not being able to get what you wanted to get out of him. There was nothing I was going to get out, bro. Based nothing. On Nothing. Look, I couldn't even ask the Casper thing, bro. The, yeah. uh, uh, and it was in my. It was one of my questions. But he was anticipating it. No, no. It, like the way I structured it, because I knew if I if I asked him directly, yo, what happened with you and Casper? He's gonna give me a PR answer. So uh. okay, I'm like, let me switch it up. We're gonna play a game, ne? Uh. And there was a game called One Must Go. Uh. So I know he doesn't vibe with Casper and a cool uh, or Kemalum cool cat. Yeah. So I was gonna ask him between Kemalum cool cat. I think so. Isn't that why Boys and Bugs died? Why? Who died? For another day, uh, the group, Boys and Bugs. He was part of like a group with Cool Cat and all oh, that stuff. Oh, I didn't know there was a group. So, so oh, yeah. Cool Cat wasn't on uh, Line Up Your Cotton Tape. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. I was going to say between him, uh, between Casper and Malum Cool Cat, who must die? <laughs> or who must go? You know? And then from then, ask him, what actually happened? I didn't even get to that part because I could tell I'm not going to get anything. It's 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 he was protecting his his brand, yeah. and again you must remember. Uh, I don't like calling it the industry. It's as if other industries don't exist because when you say ah the industry, you know that's how everybody like describes R- it. R- Ricardo is that his real name? No? Yeah, Ricardo know. was dope. Rick Rick not so much. Kind of who? Kind of who was that? Yeah? Wait wait Maybe. wait wait wait. Is it a Shimza Ashley <laughs> thing? <laughs> <laughs> Ashley's dope. <laughs> Speaking of Ashley, he was looking very dapper at Tomizi's wedding. Shimsa got an invite. You, he was playing there. Oh, Chief, uh, there's tears to this. Yeah. Thing. You spoke about tears, man. Hey, Chief. Uh, if you didn't get an invite to Tomizi's wedding, you're not a celeb, bro. Yeah, you're not a, you are nobody. <laughs> Just forget about it. You don't, you don't exist. <laughs> not even the podcast got an invite. <laughs> so, yeah, we still have a long way to go, man. Yeah. But yeah, no, he was looking hell of. He was looking hell of... Yo, he was looking proper. But before I ask you a question, because I want to ask you if you think it's worth keeping celebrity interviews, the ones that we do on Thursday. Mm. But before that, uh, please explain to him what you thought of the Ricky interview. Um, It was dull. I won't lie. It was dull. And I just feel like we could have... if, if, If we knew what we're getting into, I think we could have actually made it a dope interview, you know, because as Len was saying, we're expecting fireworks, fireworks yeah. you know, mm. as, as always, you know. Yeah, because it's outspoken, bro. Yeah, man, you know. And you got a lighter without, Mitch, we got a lighter without gas inside. <laughs> you know, you're going <laughs> <laughs> forever and ever. <laughs> <laughs> and you want to smoke. <laughs> That's yeah. what you probably got. 
Yeah, man. So, uh, yeah, and that was dull, man. But uh, regardless, dude, I just feel like... It, it was, was not dull. It was not to your satisfaction. For yeah. me, for me, it was, a, it, it was a dope... In, it was a dull, dope interview. Yeah. And I couldn't really uh, push the limit because I felt bad. He invited us to his house and he was a great host. Great host. Mm. Like, he was even helping us pick up the furniture to put it where we needed to shoot. It's like, my house, nigga. You break <laughs> shit. <laughs> the guy was dope. The guy was dope. Yeah, Ricky Rick is a dope guy. Yeah. He's a really This is that like the interview guy. didn't go the He's way I thought really it was going to go. I think, don't say, uh, correction. And I'm not being politically correct. I'm just saying correction. Don't say the interview was dull, it was a ball fest. Just say it didn't go the way I expected it to go. Mm. Okay, then it brings me to my question. Do you think we still need to do celebrity interviews on the podcast? Do they still serve a purpose, a need? Did they have a purpose? Yeah, I remember when... They were fun to have. No, remember when we started them. It was to uh, gain momentum for the channel. To bring attention to what we do, like on Mondays and Black Friday and all Fair that enough. stuff. Yeah, because if you check after Zintle, that's when we started getting a thousand views. <laughs> Before we're sitting on a hundred. <laughs> you know, but that look, was the whole purpose of doing celeb interviews. Look, because uh, they have a big following. Granted, if Baboiti came tomorrow. Of course, the numbers will be there, and I think you'll get a dope interview. She's a she. I, I don't, I she don't looks like the kind of person who will give you honest is, answers. Is it about PR. No, it's not. It's about not about n- numbers. It's about. It's a nice to have. Mm. It's a nice pellet cleanser. Yes, it's like if you if you drive a Golf GTI, and you wanna drop the suspension, you don't really have to, but. Be a nice to have. It's a nice to have. Yeah. So I think that's what they are. Again, do they have? Do they have? Do they have to happen every week? I don't think so. Because our numbers no, on I, the I, Monday I, episode do more than some celeb interviews. Have you noticed? No, I just I don't. Yeah. No, man. I think I, I think they they do serve a purpose because um, don't forget uh, people are inspired by these people. At the mm. end of the day, you know, they have a big influence. Yeah. But I think, you know what I think? Oh, this is what I've been thinking for some time, right? I think the normal guy on the street, and by no means am I bashing celebrities, I think the normal guy on the street have or has a better story to tell and chances are they'll be more open and honest about whatever it is that they're going through versus a celebrity who's trying to protect a brand. Mm, mm. And also, the, I've, I've seen it work with like celebrities like Penny, for example, who are not really uh, 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 popping right now. Like, I think she is in her own right. In her own right. But I'm yes. saying, like, if we had interviewed Penny when she was at her prime prime, she wouldn't have given us the answers. I think she's the kind of person who shoots from the hip. She would have. What I'm trying to say is I've she's noticed... She's like Yeah. But Dine Ranaka... Camera on or off, that's how she is. I think Penny's the same. Yeah, true. I've actually dealt with Penny. We used to... Yeah, you're right. We, we kind of worked together for like... But don't you think she's got nothing to lose, bro? She just got no endorsements. She doesn't need to watch an uh, image like that. But at the same time, somebody with... What did Mas Chaba have to lose? She's got endorsements. Mm. So there's a lot of people who came on the channel, said whatever they needed to say because that's just who they are. Yeah. I think an AKA will come here and will rip shit apart. Um, so Mizi's another one. So Mizi's another yeah. one. Yeah. He will come. He's got endorsements, but he will be yeah, honest because yeah, that's yeah. just... It's different strokes for different folks because sometimes there are certain people who view the game Differently than others Yeah So I think that's why You got what you got Out of Ricky Or the little that you got Versus other ones That you got I mean Loiso Was not what you expected Because of the comedian thing mm-hmm. But it's just The kind of person he is I got some uh, Feedback for us You want to hear this It's from quite long babe, uh, From uh, Chilla Oh uh, Not the priest <laughs> Okay <laughs> uh, Yeah Enda. Cause he would have told me Yeah <laughs> Enda, I hope you're good, Mac. I'm a big fan of the pod, but I'm just concerned about the growth of the pod and the views has dropped by plus minus 40%, which is not good news. So I wandered around on what maybe the issue may be. I've come to the following conclusion. Are you ready for this, guys? Uh, number one, you're still on the same concept you were doing in 2019, which maybe become boring to some ears. Like when you watch interviews, you already know what you're going to get. Not sure how you can tune it up. The content is great quality, but can it get new viewers? 
Number two, your celeb episodes are one-sided, similar industry, radio and music. It might be it might be the right time to get different people like sportsmen, social media influencers like Londy Londy London, uh, Faith and Kim, all the way to Nozi Po, etc. Even try politicians just to add some different taste. Number three, lack of marketing and branding. The proud presence in the socials is not enough maybe you can get a social media manager who can brand the pod that will attract sponsors and get the bag number four need to build network with other youtubers that have more subscribers that helps the channel get suggestions under those guys channel remember this is my opinion and concerns about the pro uh, the pod growth i really want to see it turning it into something huge nothing but love from my side man keep up the good work and we appreciate your hard work hmm. what's your thoughts on that which part? Let's start with part one. Because you know what? Honestly, I agree with some of this stuff, actually. Not, not all, but some of the stuff. I'm not going to defend what, or what, what was said. I'm not going to defend it. Uh, it's different people use different formulas, right? Uh, what Kingsley and Coca-Cola do, they both make soft drinks. They use different formulas, obviously. One pops more than the other. Right? Uh, on the celebrity interviews, are they one sided radio? No, let's start with point number one. Point number one was. Okay, go to point number one. You're still on the same concept you were doing in 2019, which maybe become boring to some ears. What is the same concept that we were doing in 2019? Like when you watch interviews, you already know what you're going to get. Not sure how you can tune it up. The content is great, the quality can get. Is it about the celebrity interviews? Or is uh, it about. The Monday episode. I That's think what I'm both. trying to acetate. I think it's both. Okay, what? As in, we're still doing Mondays like we're doing so in Monday, do them on Tuesday. <laughs> 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 I'm just asking. Yeah. <laughs> As in, the, the formula's the same. We haven't changed anything. Has Coke changed their formula? No. Okay. But we still buy it, right? Yeah. They're just changing their branding. Mm. Okay, not even because they're still red and white. Because his concern is the numbers have dropped and they're not increasing. They? I don't know. I haven't checked the numbers in a while, actually. They've dropped how? Chief, this I'm really <laughs> 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 this guy's acting like I'm the one who wrote this, bro. <laughs> okay, so here's my here's my thing, right? Again, I said I'm not going to defend this. Here's uh, where I'm coming from. Yeah. Have yeah, the numbers objectively? Have the numbers dropped? I I don't know. I haven't checked them. Like you haven't checked them. Mm-hmm. Um. It's when we do what we do, ne? we do it because, in as much as in it's escape for other people, yeah, it's also an escape for us. Hundred percent, right? Mm-hmm. Do we want to see it flourishing and securing the bag? Fuck as, yeah, of course we do, ne? And thanks for the feedback, actually, because yeah. there are certain things that we're not aware of. Mm-hmm. Uh, in terms of switching up. I'm I'm still like on the what you did in 2019 and you didn't you do is you do. Do you stuff. feel? Um, feels like a boss barado of the podcast. But <laughs> <carry on. laughs> uh, do you feel? I lost my question now. Do you feel? Oh, do you feel we post too much? Do we give out too many? Are there too many? Interviews that go out, or rather, too many episodes that go out in one week, type of thing. Yes, in terms of like, if I miss this episode today, I'll just catch next week's one. Type vibe. So we must do one episode a month. Don't you think? Maybe. Chief, now I still want to live. Yes. Yeah. If, if you don't post if 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 an episode is two hours late, do you know the the backlash that we get? Yeah, it's, it's a lot. lot. A lot. So, do we post too much? I don't think we do. Which episode do you think would get more views? The one where we post once a month or the ones we've been doing like every week? You because see, with the month one, eh, there's some sort of anticipation. That, that's fair. So, here's what I've noticed. Um, there are people who post. Hey, this is where we need Kanye. Where's the ghost lady? <laughs> this is where we need who? Uh, Kanye. Oh, okay. Everybody knows her name, okay. man. They even know her hand. <laughs> <laughs> a yellow bone hand. Yeah. Um, no, I think a month is too long. Mm. Yeah, I'd lose my mind, bro. Not even, it's, it's not even about you losing your mind. You will, you will lose relevance. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. 
you will lose relevance. Think but, about it this but, way. But, but, but think when about you drop it, the month, think about think about it this way. Sorry to stop you there. Think about it this way, ne? You're a big soccer fan, right? Mm-hmm. What happens to you during international break? I get bored. There we go. Get bored. It's the same with music. Yeah. It's the same with music. If your favorite artist hasn't dropped in a while, just like that. But consistency also kills you, bro. It's like with... I'm glad you brought up music. Remember when um, international artists used to come to SA? We'd get excited. Yes. Like when 50 Cent came, we'd get excited. Kanye West would get excited. Now they come so much... You're like, ah, Post Malone is fine. I don't really want to see but it. it I'll catch the next one. You know what I mean? Because we, we spoiled for choice. It depends on... I think about Americans. Because those people are there at the drop of a hat. And they still go see them. Mm. It's like... Aboke Spa and AKA and DJ Zinche and Rick and Questa and everybody. They have shows every weekend. We still see them. But okay. they have to maintain what they're doing for the sake of relevance. Okay, cool. Let's go to point number two. Uh, your celeb episode is one-sided. Uh, radio, in terms of like, it's usually the same people from the same industry, like radio and mm. music. I agree with that. I think we need to no, it's true. Broaden, broaden the pool I, I, of people like, we get. Also, it's, it's, it's true. Mm. One, I totally do not disagree with that. But also, uh, what people need to understand is... <laughs> People it was like, I no, not today. Call me next week. Yeah. Availability. I know. Yeah. People are just not availing themselves. Mm. It's it's very difficult to find. And if you're gonna go, let's say we go find soapy actors, you must remember these people shoot all the time. That's why I shoot mostly with my friends. <laughs> <laughs> so it's what you're trying to like say is I need better celebs friends. <laughs> No, you, we had a couple of A-listers last year, <laughs> you know? So I think it's about availability. Yeah. Uh, and again... But if availability wasn't a, a factor, I agree with what he's saying. You know, it can't just always be radio people. It's them because they're available. Yeah. So but availability I I just, is a factor. I just said, imagine it wasn't. Yes. Yeah. No, but I, 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 I mean, agree. It would be nice to chat to Julius or like Faith and Katie. Before or after she twigs. <laughs> Okay, uh, number three, lack of marketing and branding. That that that's money, chief, which we don't get. Because mm. all our numbers. I get, now we said, I get we said buy coffee. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but we're not present on social media, eh? We're not at all. Like, do you even see us in your timeline, Tabang? Yeah. You do, seriously. But what is follow you? What is being uh, <laughs> follows us. What is being present on social media? We don't do those boosts. That costs money. Yeah, which we are not getting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't be fooled by the black cup. It's you, as you can see, it's blank, so no one's advertising. <laughs> okay, yeah, but we do need a more. If we had, if money wasn't a factor, no, no. If but if money wasn't a factor, all that is being spoken about would have been long done. Because the numbers we have now, it's organic. We haven't marketed exactly. anyway, yeah. promoted anyway. And look, that helps. Mm. It helps, but unfortunately, we can't. Arna, arna, arna 50 tau. Okay, number four. Need to build network with other YouTubers that have more subscribers helps your channel get suggestions under those guys' channel. That's why FM go to 5FM for suggestions. <laughs> <laughs> Drop that fucking thing of yours. I'm just asking. But it's like a YouTube thing. These guys collaborate, bro. Good for them. Yeah. But I ask again. And At the end of the day, we are all... We, we, there's a pie. Yeah. We all want a piece of it. If we're going to share a piece, it means for a, someone's going to suffer somewhere. Not with YouTube. That's the old way of thinking. Okay. I still ask. Does YFM go to 5FM and say... <laughs> the, uh, thing, the thing is, with us, no, we are not YouTubers. We broadcasters. Yes, we just happen to be a we do on, a on the platform. It's, it's it's on the platform. Yes. yes, yeah. So like, but proper YouTubers, they they. So like, if you're Lasizwe, mm. then you collaborate with Mithali because mm. she has a lot of subscribers. Okay, Lasizwe sits here. We collaborate. What are we collaborating <laughs> on? I just need to understand. Yeah. So I because there's 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 other there's other podcast channels mm-hmm. that are. Sort of like broadcast and whatever, mm-hmm. and they do what they do because they love what they do. They've got their core market, mm-hmm. and 
anything else that's that comes extra a grand yeah 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 okay let us know in the comment section let us know what okay. you think about let this. me ask this ne? yeah if we had to cal- to collaborate who would we collaborate with mm. and why maybe the dojo like it has to be other people that are doing podcasts i would love to collab with a dojo but i think it's going to be a, it's going to be a sausage fest there's too many guys and like today father's day <laughs> <laughs> you know, well uh, yeah, yeah yeah but yeah and it's going to be one sided yeah. so if we did the dojo maybe with the ghost lady yeah then it would be a different i liked what you guys did in uh, in the free state last year yeah, with Dineo where Dineo Ranaka was yeah. yes that was dope because there was a different voice that had different ideas and the guys from the dojo actually they believe is they believe they don't turn back yeah yeah, yeah. and you that know you know shoots from the hip <laughs> that was funny you man. were just like the you were just the clown in the middle <laughs> just trying to hoy <laughs> jokes and those people were not about <laughs> jokes everybody was firing <laughs> And and also, you know, what other podcasts are there? Because we're number one in the country, so we might as well collaborate with ourselves. Yeah, which is what we do every week. <laughs> like, so on that point, no, I don't think it's smart to collaborate with anyone. Uh, yeah, like I said, the five FM idea, yeah. uh, the five FM concept. Yes, yeah. Nobody does that. Coke and Pepsi never said, ah, let's bring out a drink together. Okay, here's another uh, another feedback I got. Hey, Mac G, Len, Ghost Lady, and the rest of the pods crew. Just something I wanted to bring up with you guys. I am a chiller based in Midrand, but I am from Namibia. Sure, neighbor. I have a problem with one thing about the pod. I would like you guys to use subtitles for the pod simple, simply because some of the people whom you interview use their native languages in between interviews. And for some people like us who come from other countries, we want to learn and speak these languages and we believe subtitles help to learn um, a language to don't know a, lang- a language you don't know and want to learn. What the fuck is wrong with you chillers? Or don't you guys have time for such? Is it the hangovers that don't allow? LOL. Please do look into this. It will make the pod more dope and viewers friendly. Much love. We need to do something in Namibia too. Maybe a chillers gig or something. Holla back. Yeah. Subtitles. That's a lot of work, eh? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not actually. That's a, look, I know YouTube actually provides subtitles to what whatever automated system that they have what they can pick up mare if ribua so ke child or no born in 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 they usually don't get it right like i they 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 mess it up yeah. and understandably so but i know go what do you call this place where all techies work in the states silicon valley mm. they actually trying to get people who speak all languages of the world yeah so that they can incorporate all languages of the world in whatever for it like is. Syrian stuff. Yes. Yeah, I remember Kaya yeah. Dana was telling yes. me. Yes, yes, yes. So, yeah, ish. So what are you saying? You must send the email to Silicon Valley. <laughs> <laughs> Look, we will try. Yeah, we will try. We're not promising. We will try. Subtitles. I guess Panda didn't And there's a lot of people actually. You know, it's funny enough. Like we only think like there's only people in SA watching. You know, mm. there's a China man there who's. Avoiding Corona, trying to <laughs> hear what the fuck we say. Dude, I actually, I actually know a girl who came back from China because of the coronavirus. Oh, Kenny's wife is actually from, she was teaching in China. Actually, let me call her. I want to find out how bad it is that side. What is the coronavirus, actually? It's when you drink beer and you live in Midran and you don't have Corona. I'm kidding. No, it's a, it's a virus that, kind of, what does it do? Uh, Did you see Corona actually put out a statement? Mm. <laughs> it's bad though, eh? Ah, phone is off. Voicemail. Ah. My phone has got var- uh, Corona. Yeah. She came back because of it. But it's, it's, it's that bad. There's actually people who are stuck in... Wu- I forgot the name of the place uh, where it's like very prevalent. That are South African, they want to leave, but they can't leave because everybody there is quarantined. Mm. So... Yeah, and it's also killing a lot of tourism in a lot of Asian countries. Yeah, but what is it? Like, how do you contract it? <coughs> <laughs> I don't know. I, if it, is it airborne because people walk around with masks? Is that stuff? why the ghost lady is not here? Perhaps. <laughs> is she at Tembisa Hospital? <laughs> I guess it's been earmarked as one of the places whereby... They gonna. It's like an emergency place. If you like have corona, they'll take you there. It's it's ironic that they actually had to make it close to Midrand. But anyway, yeah. as Kolapo. But yeah, Tembisa Hospital is one of subtitles those. as Kolapo. Yeah, it's translation. 
We are not We there. are not there. <laughs> Somebody's going to read that and be like, but I can see you guys. <laughs> you are there. You know, so, yeah, it's, it's, I don't know how you, I think it's airborne. I mm. think it's airborne. I don't know what it does to you. Uh, I haven't really read up too much about it because I feel like where I am right now, mm. I don't have to worry about it mm. for now. Uh, I heard over the weekend that it made a visit to Botswana. Mm. Yeah, so, there's like four cases that's that. Yeah, so chances of it crossing the border through Mafi Gang and <laughs> taking the N4 to Joburg are very high. So yeah, I if you know what the coronavirus is about, please do let us know. I personally have not looked into it and checked what it's what it does to the human yeah. system. So do 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 you know? Um, are you on TikTok? Apparently, it's one of it was one of the biggest downloaded thingy thingy last year. Apps, yeah, yes. Are you uh, on no, it? I'm not. Hey, I don't even know what it does. It's like uh, what is TikTok? It's like Instagram, ne? But the videos are shorter. It's like Vine. You know the old Vine. So it's Vines 2.0. <laughs> we know Vines. We've been I, Tabak is a screw screw. Are you on TikTok, bro? Uh, I used to be. Oh, okay. Yeah. So what do you do on TikTok? Yeah, ask Tabang was on it. I take videos. Uh, there was one influencer that uh, approached me, an ambassador for TikTok, actually. I was in Rosebank, and she approached me while I was doing a shoot. And then she's like, yo, there's this new app, TikTok, what, 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 what. Before, like, it boomed, you know? She's like, yo, there's this app, TikTok, are your content creator? So you have a camera here. I'm like, yeah, yeah, sure. She's like, okay, give me your details, shop. And I actually got verified on TikTok. She's like, yeah, I love your work, what, 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 what. Then I yeah, but now you are, you are serious. You are an important person. <laughs> you, got you. <laughs> you got verified. You got verified. And then, and then <laughs> like, but it wasn't like, like my stream of, of a market, you know? Then I was just like, ah, I'm not really into this. I'm, I'm like into like creating content like in terms of like uh, not, not funny because TikTok to me I just saw it like as almost like funny videos only it's know? a gimmick yeah a gimmick it's mm-hmm. like vines that's well, well, hot. so I was like ah, it's like a gif really. and this is after I got verified you is know? it a gif I, I watched or a, a couple of videos and then I'm like mm-mm. I, so, so mm-mm, how long I'm does out. the video how long must the video be uh, I don't think there's a limitation I think it's one minute to 30 seconds oh yeah I don't, I, I'm not sure if there's a limitation Jesus, there's too many of these social media things, man. Kishabuka. Oh, translation, I'm okay. <laughs> <laughs> Twitter, Instagram. Even Instagram, I'm not that active on Instagram. Actually. Neither, but I'm, I'm okay with Twitter, bro. Mm. Twitter's fine. Couple of characters, you out of it. Yeah. Facebook, well, Facebook is still cool. Uh, Are you all crooks? <laughs> Look, crux. I love Facebook because I can still connect to people from... And Facebook is huge, eh? Way back. Yeah. I, it's still the, the biggest social media platform in the world. Maybe we must do Facebook Live. Fuck YouTube. <laughs> Translate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, like, yeah, it's, it's, it's... Dude, like, social media, just in JS social media, that is, that is a job. Yeah, it's tiring. It's a lot of work. Yeah. For your, like... Kana, there are people who literally go out kana, of their kana, way. Kana, 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 Oh, sorry. Shit, kana, what is kana? <laughs> ish. Oh, sorry. Kana, what is... Can I translate ish? <laughs> well. Yeah. Yeah. There's, 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 there's people who literally go out and like, no, today I need to take a shoot at like a tennis court or at like in front of like a shopping center mall type place or this restaurant. If you go on Instagram, photos look like they are curated. Wow. It's crazy. My I neighbor. don't have time to do that. My neighbor, you know when I used to stay in Randburg? Yes. My neighbor was a social media manager. And at the time I was That's like. That's what I do. Yeah. At the time I was like. Why would anyone want to do that? Like, that's so stupid, you know? Huh. But it's a huge industry now, bro. Yes. It's huge. Yep. How much are you guys getting paid? I can neither deny nor confirm. Because hmm? then I know how to press post. <laughs> no, but you see, you need to come hey, up. How hard can it be? <laughs> Schedule posts. <laughs> and again, tweet deck. <laughs> tweet deck. <laughs> Go out on two, at 2 o'clock on a Saturday. <laughs> no, it's... You have to come up with the content. And the content needs to be engaging. Because on a monthly, there are companies that actually track, or actually social media thing magic is also track. Can I earn 50K by being that, by doing that? Yeah. 50K? Yeah. Social media manager? Wow. 
maybe just a notch above that. Mm. So you hire if you are in charge of somebody who social media manages, mm. maybe you can get 50k. Sure. Also depends on which platforms you operate. It's it's a it's 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 an entire new industry. Mm. Entirely new industry. And do you need any qualifications? Yes. What? You must go and be a social media student marketing because it falls under the marketing bracket. So any mar- anyone who studied marketing can do it. No, but you need to do modules that are social media management focused. Mm. Yes. I know uh, there's a school in Where is Avda again? Bram Auckland Park. Auckland, Auckland Park. Park yeah. Yes. Or there there next to yes. It's called IMM. I think it's called it's something oh, IMMA. Yeah, IMM. Oh. Yes. Okay. It's a marketing institution. They actually do offer social media management courses. Hmm. Interesting. So, so why don't you do social media for us, Mun? Hmm? Because somebody else is paying me to do it for them. <laughs> As he drinks his cup. <laughs> I think we said we can't do marketing because we don't have money. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. And At then the current juncture, the podcast can't afford me. <laughs> <laughs> ah, ah, ah. Drop that fucking thing of yours. <laughs> just putting it up there. I'm just saying. <laughs> uh, and then what about ASMR? Do you know ASMR? A S M R S M R. Yeah, ASMR. Have you heard about that? No. What is that? And you, you talk? No, 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 no. You never heard about that? Never. It's this thing that's gone viral. Where um, <laughs> it's weird. I like, can't even explain it. It's like I have to show you a video. Give me your phone there. But it's like it puts you to sleep. Apparently. What? It's like. It's, it's, it's on YouTube ne? And these guys do funny things With like a teaspoon Or like this MacBook Or like this mic And they make you fall asleep You know So they'll go on the mic And be like Is it like some sort of Like Anna King When you Let me show you a video Give me a photo Let me show you a video Kana, what do you call this thing, man? When you are, it's weird, bro. And it's a whole thing now. Never heard about it. Yeah, it's a whole thing now. Like it's gone viral. ASMR. ASMR. Sleep. Yes. Puts you to sleep. So if you put it, if you put it on in the background, ne? Why you sleeping? So. Sleep inducing scalp. Within five minutes, you're out. Chief. You're lying. You're out. That's right, let's see. This <laughs> <laughs> okay, on YouTube. Let me show you. Funny okay. enough, Lasizu did one. He did make... he fall asleep? No, he puts you as, uh, to, to sleep. Did you fall asleep? I tried this somewhere once. Th- within three minutes, yeah, I passed out. No. Yeah. Now nah, it's all in the mind. I promise you. Never. Okay. Here's a here's an ASMR video. So you wanna put the chillers to sleep? I think this episode has already done that. <laughs> Babona <laughs> Ricky. <laughs> okay, let me choose you see one. Ricky, translate. Cool. <laughs> okay, cool. I'll put it in here so people can hear. See, they, these are the sounds. The whole video is like this. Can you hear? Can you hear the sounds? I can. Do you want to put on my headphones so you can hear? No, no, I can hear. Yeah. So the sounds are like this. All right, are you ready? Rock, paper, scissors. Nah. <laughs> I don't think I'll fall for that. <laughs> it's a huge thing, dog. It's another industry. So you want to be an SA, what, ASMR person? Okay. Maybe we'll do it on Wednesdays. <laughs> Put people to sleep in the office. But it's also like listening to classical music. It, is it like sounds that are relaxing to you? Yeah. And you go for training. It's a big thing. Oh, it would. <laughs> I'm not moved. <laughs> oh, God. Maybe we should do one SMR video. Just one. Nah. For the I'm, fuck not, of I'm not moved. 
Yeah. It's okay. I'm not moved, honestly. Yeah. It sounds it sounds like it sounds gimmicky. Mm-hmm. I could be wrong. Maybe it works. I don't know. But it sounds it just sounds gimmicky. Okay, how, how about you try it tonight? No, I've got a lot of sh- Okay, well, when it's time for me to sleep, I'll try it. Yeah, and then next week you tell us. Yes, I'll let you know how ne, it ne, goes. Yeah, Dev. Yeah. What is it? And, and this video is... What yeah. is it? A- ASMR. ASMR. Mm. Okay, cool. And this video is get like 10 million, 20 million views. But and, they, and they drop once a month. <laughs> what well, do we need to channel 2020? <laughs> <laughs> I bet you people don't watch the full video. Because <laughs> at some point they do fall asleep, don't they? <laughs> yeah. Yes, yeah. so... Yeah. If it's a five minute video, maybe in three minutes you are out. Yeah. So we need to move with the times, guys. SMR and chill. <laughs> oh, Perhaps. Yo, I saw one of the craziest things today, bro. Yeah. I really miss the ghost lady. Am I the one who misses the ghost lady? Me too. Man. Hey, dog, I miss her, eh? Oh, she's not here. Funny <laughs> guy. <laughs> <laughs> Patrice Mutepe. I get he was friends with Trump last week. Please give me a, a, a refill there. Eh? Yeah. He was friends with Trump last week. Was man. he there with Trump? Yeah, he was there with Trump. When he said, uh, Mr. Trump, mm. all of Africa loves you. Okay. You I don't didn't know, see that. No, you I didn't, didn't see, see that. that. Mm. Yeah, and people were blasting him on some like, uh, no, also bring me one. Um, people were blasting him on some. So he was at the White House? No, no, no. It was at the... What do you call this place? Maralo. Maralo? <laughs> Maria Lago. <sorry. laughs> the Maria Lago. No, man. It was at the VEF. It was at the World Economic Forum. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Okay. Yes. Yeah. So he was there, like, you know, talking to Trump and whatever and whatever. And people were like, ah, we're not, we never sent you to go and tell Trump or we love him. We don't love him. Yeah. Speak for yourself. Yeah. So today, uh, well, I was just giving reference to that. Oh, I watched that thing. I watched the, the CNN guy. Uh, when are you talking about uh, Richard Quest when Richard he was Quest, yes. when he was talking to uh, Bruce Whitfield yes. and saying that like yo South Africa you yeah, fuck yeah, yeah, in a nutshell yeah that was the same thing uh, well it was at the same place place okay yes okay got you yeah so Patrice Mutsepe you know the the pick and pay bank mm. that yellow one mm. I'm not gonna mention their name yes do you know the bank I'm talking about yes. You know he owns, well, his company, Africa Rainbow Capital, owns, I think, the majority share holding in that bank. It's about time. <laughs> no, when it started, he was part of, like... <laughs> uh, Ghost Lady would have gotten that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, no... That one literally flew over me. Yeah. Apologies for that. <laughs> uh, I'm not on my A game today. <laughs> so, he is collaborating with the Zion Christian Church. Okay. ZCC. ZCC. Yeah. So, ZCC members are going to use that bank. you kidding. I kid you not. What? Yes. For what? Transactional. Maybe if you're a ZCC member, you get lower fees or jeez that's actually smart that church is huge yes that's actually smart already when you are on that level we're looking at about 6 million customers because mm. mm. I think the ZCC church has something in the region of 4, 5 if not 6 million members mm. it could be more mm. you know yeah so already you've got 6 million customers yeah that are from a partnership. Yeah. Everybody else who comes in because it's Mac, because it's Tabang or the Ghost Lady, you just a bonus. Mm. So just one stroke, I think that bank is going to be bigger than the one that has the beautiful building in, in Santon. And then the biggest bank, how many uh, people does it have in SA? Brrr, yo, I'm I want to see the sure, benchmark. Eh? I'm not sure. More than 10 mil. Probably closer, if not more. Because mm. I think there's 50 million people in the country. Yes. And off of that, those 50 million people, there are kids who don't have bank accounts. Mm. You know? Uh, and there are people who don't work who probably don't have bank accounts as well. Mm. So there's the unbanked and there's the banked. But and I'm saying in the landscape of banking, 6 million is a lot. So. 
You're almost the second, if not the third biggest bank in the country. Shit, that's huge. That's actually smart for Patrice, eh? Mm. Mm. That's got nothing to do with the church in any way. How do you mean? In terms of when they, when they tithe, they need that banking app or something. Maybe they tithe on the app. <laughs> Otola SMS tight loaded. <laughs> you know, I, 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 and I think think about weekend when people go to Moria in Easter. Mm. Uh, it makes it would make life so easy for them, mm. and the contributions that they do to the church and what the church does for the community. Because you must remember the church is huge, and what they do for a lot of people is remarkable. Yeah. From people that I've spoken to who are of the Zion Christian Church descendancy or they follow that. It's it's literally a community. I wish black people would operate like the Zion Christian Church operates. Mm. In that Respana Gaufela, I mean we work together, <laughs> sorry. We work together to <clears throat> achieve a common goal mm. and we don't work against each other. Mm, mm. Imagine if I was wondering how long it's going to take before Len starts preaching. I'm not preaching right now. <laughs> uh, 45 minutes in deep. Hey, you lasted this time, eh? <laughs> I can give you a reference about people who will tell you that I do last. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good. Yeah, but I just think, like, the, their, model, their model works, and it, it, it's doing good things for a lot of people. Mm. And for Patrice to, to, to be in, in that space, in that space, it's... Yeah, yeah no, that's a giant leap, eh? All right, so uh, we're gonna play a game now in celebration of uh, some Gaga's wedding. Uh, so Mizi and Mumu. Is his name Mohale? Ne? Yes, Mohale. Yeah, Mohale. Yeah. Is that not his surname? I don't know his surname. No, no, no. Mohale is his name. Yeah. Oh, what's his surname? Isn't it Motawung or something? It's Mizi's so surname now. Oh, who's oh, the man? Uh, who, uh, it doesn't matter. Mohalem Gaga. <laughs> Maybe. What? <laughs> uh, okay, cool. So we're gonna play a game of Smash or Pass, but it's guys. Okay. Cool. So Come let me again? smash or pass. You guys are gonna play a game of smash or pass. You must tell me if we'd smash or pass. Here's the first guy. Uh, boom 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 boom. Where is this picture? All right, here we go. First guy. Here's the first guy. Would you smash or pass? Max Maponyan. Yeah. Nah. Wait, you would, it's you, it's you of guys. Smash. Did yeah. you say it's of guys? Yeah, it's of guys. What is that too close to home? Who's this? <laughs> Max Maponyan. <laughs> Max Maponyan, you don't see Maps. the picture. You, you asked you ask the coordinator there first. He said you'd pass. I said I'd pass. You'd pass. Yeah, yeah, he looks too chief. lazy for me. Ah, same here, chief. <laughs> same here, chief. <laughs> you'd pass. It's uh, like he's not he's adventurous. Just, it's like he's, he's very. He's, he's like Ricky Rick during an interview. <laughs> he's very PR. <laughs> he's light skinned. <laughs> so am I. So you're not into light skinned niggas? You like them dark. Don't do that. <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> rawr, rawr. Okay, what about some Mohale? Eh, Mohale. Mohale Mkaka. Mohale, you want to see his picture? No, no, Mohale. Look, if yeah. Somizi is doing that, i definitely do it too. Me? Yes. You'd hit it. Yeah. Standard. Smash. Yeah. Yeah. Rip nah, it apart. Mohale is too skinny for me. Pass. You'd pass. I pass. You know what they say about skinny people, ne? <laughs> what happens? Slender never gets tired, chief. <laughs> Okay, and then what about Willard Katande? <laughs> Simba Chips. We just smash your pass. Kana Kana, what does, what does, what does? He looks like Big Mandingo. We just smash your pass, I'm fan of, uh, nah. Big Daddy! Smash! <laughs> <laughs> smash! <laughs> No, nah, I don't think I would. Smash. No, I don't think. Why would you smash Willard and not Mark? I mean, come on. Yeah. He's dark skin, man. Dark skin <laughs> niggas got it going. Like myself, you know. Oh, God. Yo, you like your meat well done. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and then. Excuse the pun. Uh, Aries, would you smash your pun? No. Nah. It's too young for you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it looks like he wouldn't know what to do. Yeah. Yeah, it looks clueless. Yeah. Mm. And you talk about who would you smash Aries? Hey, he's thinking hard about this. Hey, I'm a fan of his music, you know? Yeah. Uh, and I'll pass. You'd pass? Pass, Chief. He looks like a girl. You guys would pass. Pass, Chief. If, if you're a fan of his music, then maybe hitting that would be music to your ears. <laughs> <laughs> Ever thought about that? <laughs> You'd smash Katsan and not Aries. <laughs> 
drop. I mean, with Aries, you could wrap him around your little finger. <laughs> Dude, how big is Aries, bro? <laughs> You've measured him. <laughs> <laughs> drop the fucking thing of yours. Come on, I'm just, I'm just asking. <laughs> Asking for a friend. Yeah, I'm asking for a friend. <laughs> for a friend too. Hey. No, I mean, I, like, musically. Yeah. Oh. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, okay, disclaimer. How big is he musically? <laughs> no, man, that nigga's huge, man. I, I feel like... <laughs> now it doesn't sound right. <laughs> He's <you> huge. <laughs> <laughs> big daddy! <laughs> oh, gosh. Yeah, you're saying that. Like, Mandingo yeah. huge. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, man. <laughs> Are you stupid, Len? <laughs> oh, You're saying, my dog? <laughs> yeah, no, man. Uh, he's big. <laughs> <laughs> that was not even me. It was not even me. Oh, gosh, I can't. Oh, hey, let's let it go, Chief. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. No, what I'm saying no, is like, because uh, I was watching Cotton Fest on YouTube. Yeah, yeah. And when he got on, the stream on crashed. It crashed. <laughs> it crashed. Yeah? Yeah. He crashed the screen. <laughs> he really is big. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the stream crashed, bro. Yeah, the Vodacom live streaming. Yeah, yeah. It crashed. And then before he came on, I was just checking the comments, ne? And every two seconds, was we were waiting for Aries, Aries, Aries. Now, I'm not in that space to understand how big he is, but this guy looks like he's no, big. Man, Aries larger is than life. Not like literally, dude. Aries, Aries, Aries. Aries is really huge, dude. Like his music, he, he makes the, the thing is. You know, okay, you literally, he's really huge. Like you just ah, we over that now. You're hey, taking man. the yeah, ah, we, we we're done with that. But anyway, yes. carry on. Yeah, no, uh, nah, nah, for real, bro. Like Reese is. Is he uh, bigger than Nasty C? He's 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 way I, bigger. I, no, I don't think so. He's way he bigger. He is with the kids. He's re- he's way bigger, man. That that Aries has a club. What, what's a a, a, cl- a cult following? Yeah. Yes. Yes. He has a cult. He, following. he reminds me of Black Coffee, bro. Yeah. That, that boy is huge, dude. Like, you know what's funny? Oh. I can't tell you one Aries song as we sit here right now. I thought you were going to say you can't tell us how big Black Coffee is. <laughs> 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 no, but you know his target market. You must also bear that in mind. Fair enough. You know? But that's why I'm asking Tabang. Because with his generation, what I've noticed... Not man, even with my generation. I saw... Uh, mm. It's not even about age group. That kid makes music, yeah, his music in such a true. way like... But I, again, I go back to saying, I don't know a song from... I know it's of n- a It's not about you. Whether you know or not. We're asking this guy who consumes his music, or how big is he? Nah, dude, like... Because for is... me, yes, uh, commercially, nasty... Okay, top five rappers in this country. Big. We're talking huge. Following. Yes. He, he, he's number one. Ah, ah born. He's I said number give me top five. Chief. Yeah, I'm telling you number one. Again. Okay, cool. Number two. In terms of following, Casper. He's got a huge following. Like, Aries literally I almost bet shut down Cotton Fist. Yeah. Let's put it that way. There was a gig. I saw, I saw a tweet. There was a gig, like, this weekend in the Val. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Nasty and AK were meant to come after him, but they couldn't perform because he just killed, like, the stage. So here's like my... They had to okay. shut down the show. That, 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 to shut that, down was, the show. that was the other week. Oh, was so, that the week? Okay, but here's my question week. then. If he's that big, is it a case of him not having the cojones to do what an AKA slash what a Casper does? Or... No, nah, man. A lot of people are saying uh, Aries should go, should go like sign and stuff like... Aries is literally... Not sign. Would he fill up a Mabida? He would he fill up a... He, he literally would. Yeah, he would. He would. See, the thing... The difference, the difference between Aries and STC right Countless, now... Countless, my G. Is that Na- Aries is underground. He's got that cult following and it has got he no has backing. He on his shoulder as well. He's got no backing. Would listen, that, listen to okay. me. Listen to me. He's got no backing. So literally, for him to get to where he is right now, it's all his own doing. He's even got a song called I Did It On My Own. On My Own. You know? And then Nasty has a lot of backing. Like, he's got Universal behind him. So when he shoots, he's got budgets. When he wants to do collaborations and features, he's got budgets. So it's like podcast versus a channel that has boosts. So... <laughs> And you still do numbers more than the boost. Yes. So we are Aries. Aries. Yes. Michali is Nasty C. Yes. Okay. For example. For example. For example. Yeah, yeah. Ah. Yeah. Ah. Uh, uh, uh. I hear your argument. I hear your point. But 
Does he have the cojones to fill up a F&B? That's what I, again, I'm going to go yes. back to that. Yes, yes. If he We're has, not even joking with you it? right now. We're that's not even not, joking with that's you not right his, now. That's not, maybe that's, he doesn't want to do that. Okay. No, no. not that so he doesn't want to do that. Up. He's literally hosting. Um, uh, I was talking. Reese Effect. Reese Effect. His second Reese Effect. It's actually not his second Reese Effect. What's a Reese Effect? It's a Ish. show that he's doing. Where? Watch and learn. Listen and learn. Where? Um, Listen and learn. It's in Pretoria. It's in Pretoria. Pretoria is a whole no, I'm not sure where it's CTA. from. They, they you want the GPS? Like you're going to cow this guy. <laughs> no, but I want to gauge. No, I want to gauge. You. Is it at Loftus? Is it? No, I want to gauge. They, they, haven't, they haven't released all the details yet. They just released that they're hosting another Reese effect. Um, is it like kind of getting that thing that they do in Pretoria every month? Uh, uh, Fontaine something. something. Fontaine. Fontaine. No, yes. It's, no, it's bigger than that. Bigger than that, bro. It's bigger than that. If it's bigger than that, how come I know about Tony Fontaine? I don't know about Reese Effect. Because you don't play in that space. But my social nah, media nah, timeline nah. should have it pop up somewhere. He's underground. No, it's not underground. Social media. It's not even underground, <laughs> Mac. Ah, uh, uh, Mac. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, Mac. No, dog. He tweets. He tweets in the in the dark. Like <laughs> <laughs> he always has dark posts. Only his people can see them. Hey, yeah, man, he was, like, I, I can not even like go to detail, man. Um, Reese uh, tweeted that. His last tweet was last year May. Speak on the, of the 14th, mic. Thing. On the fourteenth. Yeah. His last his last tweet was on the fourteenth of May, I think, right? And then he dropped he dropped the tweet saying he's working on the album, and that shit I think I think it's on twenty something k likes and retweets. And this is after how many months? One tweet. He's like Eminem. How do you mean? Like. You know, like all oh, these, can go on, eh? You know, like all these artists need to be to do PR. They need to do interviews. Mm. But mm. Are, but Eminem does that. No, Eminem just posts a link. That's it. And then all these no stands, promo, no promo, nothing. no nothing. He just does a link and then boom. You know what? I feel like I should Please take, take that back. Or Why? You can't compare Aries to Eminem. You can. Ah 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 ah. No, ah that's blasphemy. No, 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 ah, no, no, take no, that no, back. We, we can't, okay, we can't. I, d- delete this part. Delete yeah, me. please. Don't please. Monday rewind. Monday rewind. That's like saying, ah, oh, Casper. He's like Jay Z. <laughs> but we yeah, need to start yeah, saying yeah. that. Why can't no he say ways. that? Ah, no. we need to. When when will he be like Jay Z when he's dating Beyonce? He probably is. He's done more for this country than Jay Z has ever had. He helped us get what? <laughs> I'm asking. No dog. No, but I'm saying in, in, in elements of look, it's it's like comparing Okay, if if, if Jay Z was South African, born and bred from Zanzi, what what would justify him being bigger than Casper? What Casper has already done now? His music. The business acumen. Yes, Casper has the business acumen. I think he is the smartest businessman musically. Closer, if not better, than Oskido. Okay. Right? Mm-hmm. But Jay-Z has sharp a platform and him being from the States and whatnot has eclipsed him because he's got a worldwide appeal. As that, Mo- that's why I said it's if he was SA. So what I'm trying to say is that if I'm South African, I'm a rapper. What must I do to be Jay Z status? Okay, if you are South African, and you're a comedian. What must you do to be Chris Rock status? Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna go host the Daily Show. Trevor did it. What's comparison in SA? What is comparison to the Daily Show? So like, if you hosted in SA, that's like oh, okay in America, Daily Show. For example. If, for example, the Breakfast Club mm. is the equivalent of a Metro or 5 FM here. So what is that in SA right now? What, the Breakfast Club in SA? <laughs> no, don't get me confused. I'm saying... You're confusing me. No, okay, let me explain to you. Okay. In America, mm. if you do, if you have a show like the Breakfast Club, mm. it's equivalent to being on a Metro in SA. Yes. In terms of esteem and... Uh, platform. Platform. Stature. What Stature. What, everything, what, yes. Exactly. So... In SA right now, what do you have to do to be Jay Z status? Not be him in America and whatever, but in SA. What platform do you have to be go on? How many records must you sell? What stadium must you fill up? How many albums does Casper have? Ah, you're not, you're not answering my question. I'm saying well, let's get to the tier. Okay. Let's get to the benchmark hmm. of if you do this, you're a Jay Z equivalent of a Jay Z in SA. You do what Casper has done. You do what. But that's what I'm saying. He's our Jay Z then. <laughs> Ah, but like I'm comparing apples with apples. They're both rappers. They both make music. I'm comparing him on a world platform. Uh-uh, I'm comparing him on a South African platform, not world, because he'll never touch Jay Z there. But I'm saying, no, no, at what point do we now start celebrating our own like he is Jay Z? 
It's difficult, yes. <laughs> <laughs> You are difficult, Chief. <laughs> you know why it's difficult. difficult. You know, it's, it's, like, it's like if you have a YouTube channel in America, right? It's mm. easy to get a million views, right? Accessibility. Accessibility, yes. right? But in South African terms, if you get 100,000 views, that's like our equivalent of a million. Mar, why if you know what I'm saying? But, but we've got 55 million people. Yeah. In a way. Yeah. We've got 55 million. No, right. don't get into the No, but it has to get there. I'm you just can't giving just an look example. It from but you can't just look at it. You can't just look at it from Chief, a there's no way. There's no way you can get a million in SA. There's no way. It's impossible. There are videos in South Africa that, that have had do a, have million a million. Views. Yeah, but it, I'm saying it's, it's, it's hard to. Yeah, because people still celebrate a million views. Yes. People that side get it in like one day. In one day. Okay, firstly, uh, let's look at this. America has over 250 million people. We have got a portion of that. There's 50 million people in this country, right? The one million that the Americans get in one day, you get it because... You're not answering my question. The, wait, the rest of the world. It's like asking... You're not, you're not answering my question. I'm saying... But I think there's a lot of factors that go into yeah, that. Yeah, hence, I it's am not trying even to about It's not a people. yes or no. Okay, yeah, so then... Even, so, so it is a yes or no. No, it's not. If you can say, he's not a Jay-Z, how come you can Now, why is that not a yes or no? You can but, categorically say he's not a Jay-Z. But he's not a Jay-Z. Why? On what terms? Because he does not have the influence that Sean Carter has. He does in SA. Even more than him, because if you check at uh, at, at, at uh, Global Citizen, yes, I think there people, are more, people I, he shook the crowd more than Jay Z and Beyonce did. I think, I think Jay Z, and to no disrespect, do I have to Casper your vest? I think Jay Z has a bigger influence in South Africa than Casper your vest does. Yes, I'm not disputing that. But then, so I'm saying, at what point? What does Casper have to do to reach that level? That same level still, that Jay Z has. He's, he's still working. Say. He's still working on it. So, so there must be a benchmark. What must he do? I I don't know. Ah, there's there's my point. Yeah, now nah, there's my point. I don't know nice. because for me he has, he has reached that status. The who's, guy who's reached Eminem status, Reese. <laughs> I believe so. <laughs> what, I, I, believe so. I believe hey, so. Hey, oh, sorry. In Africa. Disrespect. In, in South Africa, right, man? In South Africa. South Africa. We're talking about in South Africa. No, he, he's the, the Eminem is, of South he, Africa. He's talking yes. about something he doesn't know. Yes. Len is talking about something he has never listened to Aries' music. Exactly. As he said. Yes. He doesn't. He but doesn't I, know the know the I know the influence that Eminem has, though. Yeah, because uh. it's, it's worldwide, dog. But at what point? If, you if, say, if Eminem no, was, my, was, my, a, was a rapper, do you even know Costa Titch? No. Exactly. No, you see what I'm Why saying? are we having this conversation? Exactly. So, check. Ne? If, if we both make... It's like saying, between David Beckham and Tokomo Dise, who has more of an influence in the world? The world. We're not talking about the world. Listen. The world. We're not talking about the world. Okay. We're talking about... The, and I'll tell you why I say that. Because... Kaza Chief is revered in certain parts of America because, well, Kaza's from there and whatnot... And Leave America. Like, no, Let's listen. Talk about here. Give me an example. Ah, ah, Give Afri- me an example. South, yes, South Africa. We no, no. South Africa is not the world. Yes, that's what we're not talking about the world. But we need to. We need to speak about the world. No, because we. Uh, we no, 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 we no, are no. from. No, no, we are no, part no. of the world. So, so listen, take away the world. On a broader, Jay Z. On, like, on, on a broader like perspective, you know, like on a broader like when you think about it, like more in depth. But we're not talking about like no, but it should, no, no, no. You see, I'm saying we need not limit our thinking. We need not, not limit our borders our thinking, bro. because the same way that Casper is big, Benna Boy is big in SA. No, Benna Boy is not that big in SA. He's big Benna in Nigeria. Is, He's the Jay Z of he, Nigeria. Ah, Benna Boy, ah, no, yeah, that's what I can't. That's what Benna Boy is no, even no, no, bigger no, no. See, in the states again, than South Africa. Now. What I'm trying to dispel is. Benna Boy should not be the Jay-Z of Nigeria, a.k.a. or Casper should not be Eminem slash Kanye West slash what Jay-Z of South mean? Africa. They should be the Casper in your vest of the, world. of the country or the world. Yeah. On a broader perspective. Ah, on a broader pers- oh. we, but you make music, music, she- music hits ba. ears. She- People ba. who live in the world have ears. Sheba, Sheba. Look, translation, look. <laughs> look, she- look, look. <laughs> Hey, look, Jay Z yeah. comes from the Bronx or Brooklyn, wherever. Mm. Makes music, okay. Mm. Blows, blows up, my Blows up, right? In his hood, is the biggest rapper in his hood. Mm. So we're saying, in our hood, who has influenced people or who has become as big as Jay Z did in his hood? So when we look at our hood, we're like, oh yeah, that's Casper. He's made the same moves. Can I just ask you a quick question, Mac? Ma- yeah. Just a, a real quick. Mm. Would you like being compared? Be honest. Would you like being compared, Len? 
Just let's, let's just like be honest. Let's Com- be blunt now. If you want to compare me, you can go ahead. Mac, now you answered, Mac. Would you like to be compared? To prove a point, yeah. To prove a point. In general? Do you like comparison? Do you like like when people compare you and stuff? I don't know where, where you're going with this, bro. No, I'm just asking. This is why we need the ghost lady. <laughs> <laughs> I'm off ramping now. Yeah, you're off ramping. <laughs> William Nicole. <laughs> Let me drop it. Let Shit, me drop we're it. out of time, bro. We've got to say yeah, bye. Yeah, but anyway, yeah. we'll continue this with ghost See, ghost lady makes us end things in time. She brings some structure to the show. That's why we all need women in our lives. Yeah. Mm. I was actually having a... A but woman. Anyway, we'll... <laughs> We'll do this conversation some other day. No, I was having a very interesting conversation yesterday when you came through to my house. Yeah. Comparison, or, or the conversation that women... Oh, I will talk about that Yeah, we'll talk week. about... And I... Because I, I, I needed Ghost Lady to be around yeah, for that yeah. chat. Yeah. Anyway, we've got a couple of announcements to make. Yes, 15th of Feb, Coffee Brooklyn. It's going down. That is the hookup party. Um, you're going to be the MC, ne? I am? Yes. Mm-hmm. Hopefully, I don't have the flu on the day. Yeah. Uh, what are the announcements? What else am I missing? Check out the website if the you want to copy yourself a t shirt. There's somebody who wants a t shirt and they're expecting it from me when I go to soccer on Tuesday. Is it? Yeah, they want the gray one. Oh, the gray one. Mm. Okay. Uh, what are the announcements am I missing? Yeah, that's about it. Big up to them. Oh, shit, I met somebody at uh, one of the people who's coming to the hookup. Mm. So I'm. Um, and the hookup's gonna be nice. I can't, go- and by the way, you lied to us. It's not 150 people that have registered. Oh, I think I saw it the other way. Yes. I saw it probably today. Yes. Seats remaining, yes. How many, how many people have registered now? 71. Oh, wow. Yes. 71. That one you can check. I'm sure of it. Yeah. Yeah. Cause so, yeah, please register. We'll put the link in the comment section for you to register to be a part of uh, the speed dating that we are doing at Kofi Brooklyn uh, on the 15th of Feb. It starts at 5 p.m. The speed dating starts at 6. Tabang's going to be there. Are you going to take part or are you, you going to be working on the day? Which, which he better people? take part. He needs a partner. Yeah. Mm. So you must register. Which, should, which should I do? You can I, put, I can't do both. It's up to you. If I get late, I get late. If, if not, hey, then I'll be working the whole night. So which should I do, Chief? Ah, register, Chief. We'll sort it out. Must I register? Yeah, register. Then. I must get lit. Yeah, I must oh, get right. lit. I could have said you had a nice voice. That's why Who he, spoke, so? that's why so he spoke so much last week. Oh, so <laughs> he saw a comment. <laughs> Shout out to Lerato. <laughs> Lerato. <laughs> Shout out to the right. I still remember your name. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, wait, what do you want to say? Uh, bu- 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 yes. Oh, shit. Ko, at, Ko is at Vod- Vodacom World last week. Mm-hmm. So I was going to a meeting there. And then there's this guy, like he's driving to the parking. And then I'm walking with like my colleagues and whatever. So he opens his window. And then he's like, hey, Len. Are you Len? I'm like, yes. He's like, my man. I'm trying to register for that fucking shit on the 15th. <laughs> <laughs> Drop that fucking thing of yours. <laughs> That's funny. Kind of what's his name? Is it uh, Tayanda or something like that? Yeah. 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 It's like I'm trying to register for that thing, that fucking thing, on the, <laughs> for that shit on the 15th. <laughs> so I think my, my colleagues misheard what he said. Yeah. So they thought he said ship. Yeah. No, he said shit. So I heard him properly. <laughs> so when I, because I went to and I went to speak, uh, I went to have a chat with him. Uh, shout out to Tayanda, by the way. So when I'm going back to my colleagues, they're like, "What ship are you <laughs> sailing on the 15th?" <laughs> so now I'm confused. I'm like, "Huh?" They're like, "No, ladies and gentlemen, the Aries of the podcast. <laughs> He's got a cult following." <laughs> It was no, it was a coincidental meeting. <laughs> There's no cult to it. <laughs> it was just like Tayanda was driving into Vodaworld. He was probably going to fix his iPhone. Mm. And then he was like, Shit. he wanted to know when the ship is sailing. Uh, we are here, man. Yeah. We've recorded for an hour, 10 minutes. Should I load the whole thing or cut some parts out? Imagine if the ghost lady was here. It would have been two hours. Nah, yeah. load everything. It's fine. Load everything. Yeah. yeah. All right. Sweet. We are here. Podcast and chill. Boom. Peace to the streets. <laughs> Podcast and chill. Matt G, the ghost lady, and Len Moleko.